Logan Paul has become one of the most interesting creators on YouTube. He went from being one of the most hated content creators half a decade ago, to having a complete redemption of being well respected by most people, to now find himself in a huge controversy that has left many people lose respect for him. Logan Paul has found himself in one of the biggest crypto scams on YouTube, having his fans losing tens of thousands of dollars in Logan's scummy schemes. As many people wouldn't have thought that Logan would have done something like this since how loyal he has remained to his audience, and not to mention how loyal his remaining audience has been to him. And since he's quote unquote changing my church the 2017 Suicide Forest incident, but that hasn't been the case recently. And before I get into this video, all credit goes to CoffeeZilla, he did a whole 3 part series about Logan Paul's scummy habit, and is very well researched and goes into great detail about Logan Paul scamming people. But without further ado, subscribe, drop a like, and let's dive into Logan Paul. Pause. To start off, this would really all start off with Logan Paul talking about his new project that he was doing. Him and a couple of his friends had planned on creating a crypto zoo, which originally was a remake of something else. The developer, Jake the Crypto King, would go on to say, I like imitating crypto kitties, the public is familiar with it, they will recognize that style, image, and card, plus the mobile will make it beyond viral. As of right now, all these games are solely desktop, and Logan would go on to say that he likes that idea. So then later on in August of 2021, Logan Paul would then go on to promote his project on his podcast, Impulsive. The thing that I'm most excited for, and this is the first time I've ever said anything about this. For the last six months, I've been working on my own NFT project that uh, I believe is gonna change the game because as of now, there's a model that a lot of people in the crypto space have identified, and that's releasing a set number of unique assets. Essentially, this game was a play to earn game that makes you money. Honestly, I don't need to tell you guys why you shouldn't be buying fishy stuff like crypto from people online. But it was Logan Paul and many people thought they could trust him. The way this game worked is that Logan Paul's friends would buy this crypto token that was called Zoo, and they would use these coins to buy eggs and different kinds of NFTs. And from the outside, many of Logan Paul's viewers who liked him couldn't see him doing anything shady to them, since after all, it was a big influencer who was backing this up. And since he made this game extremely enticing, since all it was was a game that could earn a lot of money. So the people who began buying this weren't just spending 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 600, even a thousand. People were spending tens of thousands of hundreds and even the millions of dollars on this game. During the game's pre-release before it actually launched, people were spending all of the money on these eggs. Obviously, like I already said, you shouldn't be spending your money on NFTs because it's fucking NFTs. But overall, many people thought that Logan Paul had changed was more mature and wouldn't scam his fans into buying stuff that was worth nothing. However, as the game was getting closer and closer to launch, people would soon realized that these NFTs that Logan Paul said that they were handmade arts were fucking Adobe stock photos that were edited a bit. And when people began realizing that Logan Paul was essentially lying about these handmade art NFTs, people began realizing how much of a bit red flag this was from the jump. Another red flag with this was when Logan Paul was going to say this on his podcast. We, we have a massive team behind it and are probably out of pocket like a million just because we believe it's gonna work. On development. Yeah. Logan Paul tried to claim that him and his team spent a million dollars on this project. Basically saying that he spent a million dollars on fucking Adobe stock photos that I found in one Google search. However, Logan just kept on saying that they spent a lot of money on this project. However, as people began buying these eggs in Logan Paul's game, that essentially guaranteed you to make a bunch of money. As people began pouring their bank account into these NFTs and these eggs, people soon realized that they were absolutely making a zero off this game. When the game launched on the first day, it was almost immediately a scam. When people invested a bunch of money into these NFTs, they got absolutely nothing in return. Once people began to start to catch up to Logan Paul's fishy tactic with this crypto zoo, the YouTuber CoffeeZilla was going to make a three part series in late December of 2022, exposing Logan Paul and interviewing different people who invested thousands and tens of thousands of dollars in these NFTs. I lost around $50,000 in crypto zoo. I lost $40,000. $500,000 Australian. Do you, see, I'm telling you, it's just a picture. There's nothing I can do with it. Wait, you can't even have no. And going back to Jake the Crypto King, who was essentially one of the developers of this project, claimed that Logan Paul stole $40 million in token from him, and even went to call him a liar and a scam artist. And to make matters worse, none of the developers were paid at all even when they were promised. Technology officer claims that he had a team of 50 engineers working at $50,000 a week, burn rates 
to build the gaming blockchain tech necessary, and the developers were never paid the 1 million or given the 5% of tokens they were verbally promised by one of the cryptos whose founders, Eddie Ibiners. And when this was going on, this had been going on around 2021. So the people who really knew Logan Paul was scamming them were the people who invested into these NFTs. But no one else really exactly knew what Logan Paul was doing at the time. When CoffeeZilla had made his exposed video on Logan Paul for a scummy crypto scheme, Logan Paul ended up responding to CoffeeZilla with a now deleted video on January 3rd, 2023, where Logan Paul claimed that CoffeeZilla was spreading misinformation about him, trying to bring him down, twisting the story, and even threatening to sue him for defamation. Coffee, you took a shot at my reputation. Uh, so in this video today, I'm going to be defending myself with facts, something that you have gotten in the habit of twisting as you continue to morph from an investigator to a gossip channel. And lastly, CoffeeZilla, I now know your motives with this. Clout and money, good for you, but also your, your slimiest. So I'm not going to come on any of your podcasts. If you want to come on Impulsive and talk about this, that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. It can be a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if not, we're going to handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. However, Logan's response only backfired him even more, as many people began calling his response pathetic. And eventually, CoffeeZilla would go on Twitter and say, Logan called me, he said he's deleting the two responses, and is dropping lawsuit threats. I believe he's making a third response, which I'll be delaying my video to include. Hopefully, this time he takes accountability and refunds the victims of CryptoZoo. And after Logan Paul deleted his response video and dropped the lawsuit threats, he would go on to make a Discord message and say, hey all, just want to update you, I deleted my next response to Coffee series, it was rash and misaligned with the true issue at hand. So I called him today and apologized, the war is now with Coffee. in fact I'm grateful that he brought this to light. I will be taking accountability, apologizing and coming forward with a new plan in the near future. Thank you all for believing in this project and sticking with me. I know it's been bumpy but your support is everything to me and I will make this right. Now very ironically, the circumstance of the situation is very similar to what happened 5 years ago, where he filmed a dead body in a Japanese suicide forest, laughing at a ton of shit for it, and would go on to make an apology video about it. And this time he would make an apology video but on Twitter. He would say that he was deeply sorry for what he did to Coffeezilla and all the negative stuff that he did. If any money is recovered in the process, it'll go right to the community. My sole obligation is to my supporters and um, I know this video is long overdue, here it is. I'm sorry guys, I, I, I apologize. So Logan Paul finally oh. says the words, finally oh. says the words, oh. I'm sorry. After a whole half an hour podcast, a response video, he says it. I'm sorry. Fuck me, that took a long time. Without a doubt, many people all thought the local Paul was on a redemption trail and wouldn't have slipped up into another scandal. As even though he's basically moving on from this, that still isn't making a complete scumbag. He tried to sue someone who was doing the right thing by calling another creator out, which local Paul tried to basically silence them and threaten them with legal actions for no reason. But even though the local Paul has apologized for this, there's still a lot of people out there who think that local Paul wasn't sincere and thinks that he only said sorry because his reputation was at stake now and how overdue the apology video was but hey all we know is he could go find himself in the controversy and move on like he did back in 2017 but the biggest thing out of all of this is don't waste your money with crypto or anything from an influencer as most people all thought that logan paul changed but we all see how that turned out but that's all for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video then consider subscribing drop a like if you want to go find my twitter at scorebrand underscore one and follow the twitch to join the discord I'm trying to hit 300 followers on twitter so if you ever follow me on twitter then go follow me on twitter but thanks for the support recently thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.